guys, Wendy here, and this is Zena. Today I am upgrading my HP Pavilion. Uh, it has eight gigabyte of RAM, and I need more memory, don't we all? So we are upgrading to two different cards with 16 gig each, so we're gonna have 32 gig RAM, so that should be plenty for gaming and video making and all those good things. So let's get at it. Hey guys, so I wanted to upgrade my HP laptop from eight megabyte of RAM to 32 meg. And first I had to find out exactly what my computer was capable of taking. So you can go online to websites like crucial.com, which is where I got my RAM or memory stock. And they have an online program that can check your system, find out exactly what model you have and match it up to the RAM. Um, so that's what I did. But this had a generic model number prog programmed into it. So I had to actually look on the back and get the exact model number. It's listed right on the back of the device. So I just typed it into crucial.com and it looked up what I could take. Um, what the system could take. So this one has two slots. So I was able to get two cards and you should get them in matching pairs. Uh, it's my understanding you cannot mix and match your RAM. So I got them in a matching pair. They're from the same batch. I also got off Amazon just some inexpensive computer tools because you need to pry this cover off, which is the hardest part. And um, I didn't want to damage it. So these are plastic tools and I'm going to try them all and then I have a miniature Phillips head screwdriver. So before you start, shut off your computer, make sure it's unplugged as well and then hold down the start button for five seconds or more and that releases any residual energy. When you go to open the device, you'll notice the screws are pretty discreet. So this happens to be an HP Pavilion Model 15 CS2064ST. And we have three Phillips head screws right there. And then these are the back feet by the hinge and the other screws are hidden under here. So we'll start here. This one has one. And I'm just going to put it there so the glue stays tacky and clean. here. You can hear it unsnapping. I'm going to work towards the corner. There are brackets in the corners. Working at that. There we go. Oh, the memory is right here. This is the eight meg of RAM. It's actually eight gig of RAM. 
and there's my two slots. So to access this, you need to just pry this back a little bit. Pry that back and it pops out. You can see how it goes in just like that. Here's my replacement piece. So it fits right in. There's a tiny little groove right there that it fits right into. Make sure this is pulled back. Cause it's gotta pop in there. There we go. That's it. It's that simple. You just line it up. You can see that that doesn't go that way. It has to go this way. You push it down, it pops right in. Okay, we're gonna put the cover back on. Openings go towards the hinges. It's gonna slip back into all of those all the way around and I'll just put the Phillips head screws back in and that's it it's a really easy project